also participated in today's event. She thanked the servicemen and women for their sacrifice. Right now at 5.30, Right now at 5.30, taking a live look at travel conditions taking uh, throughout the area. This right here you're looking at is Middletown in Newport. And here is Sierra Pubbin. Hi, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> She's We're, just observing the conditions with us <laughs> tonight. Good. You know, Sierra, it's better than being out there live in the weather conditions right mm. there, right? Yeah. True. Yeah. We're going to get to Sierra in just a minute. She has a big story that she wants to pass along. But the big story that we're following right now at 530, of course, is the weather. And we just showed you that uh, the commute uh, the commute in was pretty tough there. Yeah, you guys had a rough time. Pretty mm. sloppy out there. Yeah. Of course, not feeling or looking like spring. Mark Searles no. has been tracking it all day, all morning, all afternoon. He mm -hmm. joins us live with the latest on the conditions. Hey, Mark. Hi, guys. And this is where it is right now. We're looking at live pictures from our Middletown camera, which is right, of course, on the Newport Middletown line looking toward First Beach. It's been back and forth between some morning snow and then sleet and rain for a while there most of the day. Now back to all snow. If we could take that camera live for you, I'll show you uh, the snow falling, as you can see now, in uh, the Middletown and Newport line area right there, Memorial Boulevard. You can see the cars going by. The road's still mostly wet, but just a couple miles farther north, it's a different story. Anywhere between four and six inches of snow already. With some additional snow accumulation on the way, winter weather advisory in blue, warning in pink. The warning means six inches or more of snow likely. And again, we've had reports of well, five inch totals. Providence up at Federal Hill. Ray Vincent just calling in with that number. So that's hot off the presses here in Cranston. We've had four and a half inches of snow. West Warwick closing in on six right now. New Bedford and Taunton at about four, four and a half. We've got a few more hours of the snow. As I mentioned earlier, if you're just joining us, we will see the snow wrapping up uh, between and the hours of about uh, 8 and 9 o'clock tonight. And I do want to just show you again, 4 to 8 inches of snow, most of the area, guys, by the time this wraps up. That's today. Some of us yesterday had as much as 3 to 6 inches of wet snow. What a start to the month of April, right? A far cry from what most of March brought. We'll talk about the 7-day forecast. More changes on the road, too, uh, in just a little bit. I'll see you then. And long night ahead, my friend. And, of course, uh, don't forget you can turn to 10 for updated Storm Team 10 forecast. We're going to be tracking this forecast, of course, throughout the night. Mark will have updates here at 5.30, 6, 7, and 11. And, of course, you can get them anytime by following NBC10 News on Twitter. Other stories we're following for you new at 5.30. New life for the building that was once home to 38 studios. Yes, that building now owned by Roger Williams University. And today they offered a behind-the-scenes look at the rebuilding process. NBC10 Sierra Pot she joins us now with the story. Hey, Sierra. That's right. <laughs> well, Roger Williams University is going to be occupying about five floors here at this new location. And then, as well as whatever is learned in these classrooms, well, it's going to be broadcast right here in Rhode Island, but then also across the world. As you walk into One Empire Plaza, Roger Williams University,